All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Sean Life Podcast, episode 341, coming at you live from my home office here. Guys, I'm fresh. This is, I'm, I just rolled out of bed. Uh, it, is, it is the morning, and I, I just had my cup of coffee, having a great day. My buddy, Kevin Tarka, uh, the, the producer of Sports Business Secrets, who's also doing 365 podcasts in a row just took off for tampa florida right outside my window and i freaking missed it i'm i'm tracking his flight on the on my on my plane tracking app and i freaking missed it i just sat here he was taxiing on the runway for like 27 minutes and i completely missed it. i completely dropped the ball kevin if you're listening my deepest condolences i'll catch you on the way back as you sail past my window um so guys uh this was kind of a thought that i had last night I'm reading this book on Buddhism, uh, and one of the one of the core tenets of the book uh, is truly just seeing the world for what it actually is. Uh, and I find that to be I find that to be pretty interesting uh, because I've always thought that that was one of my one of my skills uh, is being able to really see the world for for what it really is uh, and actually see the truth at least on a on a on I think on a deeper level than most. I think that's I think that's truly one of my skills uh, and. You know, as as I as I did that, you know, I, I went out to my balcony last night. I had to read an email, so I wrote it out there, and I just kind of was sitting out there. Uh, I was I was I wasn't toasting the sunset, but I actually another random aside. We're going in all sorts of directions here. I listened to a song by Toby Keith called "Don't Let the Old Man In," uh, and it was talking about just staying young and, and don't letting yourself turn into an old man or anything like that. Uh, and he's, and one of the things he said, toast, toast every sunset with a glass of wine or something like that. I hate wine. So I just did it with water. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of have that reflection. So I'm out there last night and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the Buddhism, toasting the sunset, just enjoying, enjoying the planes that are coming into Newark airport. Uh, and I, I, I tried to see the reality of what we're doing, what we're all doing, what I'm doing as an entrepreneur, what you're doing as an entrepreneur, what my clients are doing as an entrepreneur. Uh, and we're trying, at the end of the day, uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to help people. Like that's what business and that's what products uh, are designed to do. At least those are the businesses that I want to work with. I know that there's people out there that don't operate under those same terms, uh, but those are not businesses that I necessarily want to be associated with. And the... When I'm when I'm thinking about marketing, when I'm thinking about like the truth behind marketing, what you really want to do and the way that you want to structure your business is to be helpful. And I think that there have been many layers that have been tacked on to entrepreneurship and marketing and just business in general that lead you to believe that there are tactics and strategies and things that you must do in order to be successful. Now, there are there are good strategies to capture people's attention. There are good strategies for holding people's attention. There are things that are better than others, no doubt. But at the end of the day, people just want help. And your business should be designed in such a way to deliver that help. Your marketing should be designed in such a way to prove to somebody that you can be helpful. That's really all that you're trying to do. Marketing is trying to capture somebody's attention, first and foremost. That's number one. Can you capture their attention? And number two, can you give that? Can you tell them a story? Can you provide messaging? Can you say words? Can you take words inside of the English language, mush them together in a random combination or, you know, strategic combination in order to make them believe that you can actually be helpful? And th those words exist. You just have to put them together in the right way. What I'm saying in weird fashion is that you have to make, you have to, you have to be able to just prove yourself using your communication skills that you can be helpful. And that's really what marketing is. It's not necessarily about strategic copy or, or, you know, catchy images and stuff like that. Like it really is like, can you prove to somebody that you can be helpful? And that's, you know, that's the game that we're playing. And I think that it's really, really helpful at the end of the day to kind of decompress and understand, like get back to the basic layer of what business is really all about. It's about helping people, solving people's problems uh, and, and doing it consistently. I mean, there really isn't anything more to business than just that. And I believe like through, Having studied 100 pages of this of this uh, Buddhist book right now, I, I think that's kind of where they're going with it. Where it's like, look, uh, let's let's not let's not let's not complicate it. Let's keep it really simple. Let's keep it really beautiful, uh, and be able to deliver on what your what it's all about. And for business, that's it's just helping people, right? So I think the takeaway for this lesson, guys, is to really think about your business. What is the problem that you solve? How are you helping people? 
right? And then think about how can you prove to somebody that you can be helpful. Here's an interesting. Here's an interesting. Uh, here's an interesting uh, story from from my from my business. One of our one of our team members uh, was tasked with social media conversations and just engaging with people on social media. Uh, and they were going into the DMs and they were copy and pasting a. They were copy and pasting a. Uh, like a form message into like DMs and just sending it out to a lot of people. And while I appreciate the excitement and the energy and getting out there and the, you know, getting stuff done, you know, what the, the, the message in itself was inherently spammy. Uh, it was, you know, talking about, it was saying like, Hey, check out our profile and see if we can help. Like if I got that message, I would be like spam crap. Like it said, like, I love what you're doing with your page. Anytime I get something like that, I'm like, they're not looking at my page. They're just absolutely spamming DMs right now. And that's not really what we're trying to do. It's trying to generate conversations. And I talk and I, and I showed them, a, I, show, I went in and screen recorded a conversation that I had where it was just me engaging with somebody, just having a conversation like, hey, how's everything going? Like, tell me about yourself. Wow. Okay. You run this business. That's awesome. Is there anything that I can help with? And they're like, you know, I'm just at the point where uh, it's a little challenging and overwhelming. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I made a, video today about 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 this like would you like me to send it to you and they're like that would be amazing so i put them on the list get them on the email list and now i have a lead in my in my business and we did it organically we did it nicely we did it like a freaking human being there's one way when you spam people and you and it sounds salesy and stuff like that you're not really consider you're you're you are selfishly marketing you are just trying to make money uh when when you are trying to help people and having conversations, you are running a business the way that a business is supposed to be run by helping somebody and solving somebody's problems. Uh, and then, you know, as your business grows, you can learn how to do those things at scale. Uh, but especially in the beginning of your business, like you're a people business, you're trying to solve problems, especially people in the fitness world. So it's not about like just blanketing it out there and sending out a ton of DMs and spamming people. It's about actually solving problems and, and getting to know somebody and saying like, Hey, how can I actually help you? Maybe we should hop on a call. Maybe you can come into our gym and I'll, I'll show you something. And, and maybe if you're interested and you like it, maybe you'll sign up for one of our packages. But also, maybe you won't because what I'm really here to do is help. Uh, and I just need to figure out a way to make that happen. But if from, from the DM's perspective, think about, think about being in the shoes of the person who's receiving that DM. Does that actually make you want to go check out their products? Probably not. It's a swipe, right? Swipe, swipe and delete because you're like, this is, this is spam. Like this person doesn't know me. This is just, they're just trying to, they're just trying to, you know, do whatever, uh, just make a sale. And that's, that's, that's never helpful in terms of that. How do you actually get somebody to want to go check out your page? You engage with them, you have a conversation, you talk to them, and then you slowly move in that direction. And then eventually maybe you, you give them a lead magnet or something like that. Like, Guys, that's the game. Um, so don't, so don't, don't worry about selling. Worry about helping people, uh, and worry about finding the people that want your help and that need your help. And that could be tedious, that could be challenging, but that's business. Okay. So with that, we'll end this episode of the Sean Life Podcast. I believe this is three forty-one, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for the next episode of the Sean Life Podcast. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>